Yeah, Jedediah, just out here trying to get it, man. By any means necessary, you feel me? Yeah, let's go. 24 7 hard work and dedication. 24 7 hard work and dedication. For the hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Jedediah. This is the Jedediah Podcast. Today we have two special guests in the building. In front of me, we got the one and only. 22 by you. 22 value. How you doing today? I'm good. For sure, man. Thanks for coming through. And to your left, we have the one and only. Racco 956, pa. Racco 956. Yes, sir. And what what does what does that mean exactly? The name? It's my nickname. It's the area where I'm I'm from the valley in the area. Okay, okay, okay. The valley. Okay. And you're from the valley too, correct? Yeah. We're okay. from, uh, we from the same city. Okay. Brownsville, Texas. Gotcha, gotcha. Brownsville, Texas. Okay, man. Uh, now, for people who don't know, talk about where you're from, what you're working on, and what you're about. Um, I was born in San Antonio, Texas. I was raised in Brownsville, Texas, um, the majority of my life. And um, shit, I, I've always just been about like making good music. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. um. I've been locked up, like, most of my life, you know what I'm saying? Like, starting in juvenile, up, up until now as an adult, you know, going to actual prison and all that shit. Damn. Um, but uh, music has always just been, like, an outlet for me. You know what I'm saying? It's always been, like, um, something that I enjoy to do more, like, more so than, like, like trying to, get, like, get a lot of attention off of it or, like, make money off of it. Cause yeah. Like I got money type shit. So like it's really just off of um Just something you like to something do. Something that I love to do. Yeah. You know How long have you been making music? As far as like you, you asking like what I'm about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For sure. The music side. Okay. Okay. How long have you been making music? Mm, probably since I was like nine, ten years old. Um I started writing like when I was in a group home and shit. Mm -hmm. And um that was just my way of like expressing myself and shit. You started. You were in a group home. Yeah, I was in a group. I was in several different group homes. Mm -hmm. Um, but like as I was growing up and shit. You in know, in San what Antonio. Saying? Um, in Waco, Texas, and mm -hmm. um, Cherokee, Texas. Um, mm -hmm. It's like a little town outside of like Lano and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard of Waco. I haven't heard of. Uh, yeah, it's like some off the grid type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, and you make music in English and in Spanish, right? It's most uh, Spanish. Mainly Spanish. Yeah, it's most Espanol. It's like narco rap. Okay. It's dedications in there and all that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. La frontera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, el, ¿Cómo se dice la frontera? Like the border. The like border, the border, music, border type music type shit. Oh, okay, okay. Like shit that's going on on the, on the border of Mexico, you know, where we come from, you know. Like, our backyard is Mexico type shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm talking about, like, 10 feet type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, your tia's fucking backyard <laughs> it might be Mexico. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what we grew up on, you know? So, mm -hmm. that's the type of music that he's doing. This is, like, like narco rap, like, dedications for the other side. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to go into details and shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? For who the songs are for. But, like, you know, my nigga's, like, making a living off of 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 um, making music for people that are really 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 fucking living it. You yeah. Know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Back to the music. Uh, what have you been working on lately that uh, we can expect from you? Um. So like, I would say like my English mixtape album, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Like I got like twenty songs like already recorded and already ready to go, mix and master all that shit. Um. And I also got um, a Spanish mixtape with my home, my my brother right here, mm -hmm. and um, shit. I just um, signed a little distribution deal with Narco Wave. That's mm -hmm. my that's that, that's my big homie Trophy, and um, we got a plan like a rollout and shit like on how we're gonna release music. My first song is dropping April twenty first. It's with Cinco P. Um, he's from this area. Um, he be rapping out here and shit. He's a platinum artist and shit. Yeah. Like, that's my first song that I'm finna drop April 21st. 
And then after that, it's just going to be a domino effect. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to be dropping videos, music, all that shit. Like, everything's already done. How did you get connected with CKOP? Because I remember him from that that TikTok, from going viral on TikTok yeah. with uh, that Tampa. Yeah, yeah, Tampa. 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 Um, I had heard... I had heard about Seco P through 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 this female and shit out of San Antonio, and um like I don't know it's weird like she kind of like put me on his music and shit so like I I reached out to him and I was like hey look I'm I'm trying to make something happen with you you know what I'm saying and and um, um what you trying to do and and, and everything worked out. Mhm. That's what's up. Anyone else you've been cooking up with lately? Um, so it's gonna be the the first song that I got. It's called Double Up with Cinco P. Okay. Uh, April twenty first, and then after that, I'm gonna drop um Outside with D Baby, and then after that, I'm gonna drop um Out the Roof with Trap a Lot. Oh, okay. It's like a little mm-hmm. little little plan that my my partner got for me and shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm just I'm riding with it because I don't know. Sh- I don't know shit about none of this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just like making music. You yeah. feel me? So, I'm going to just do it organically. D-Baby, how did that feature come about? Did you reach out to him? and? Um, I had reached out to him. Um, when I had came home from prison, I did uh, four years mm-hmm. uh, in TDC. And um, after I had came, before I had got locked up, I felt like, like I wanted to be like the first Mexican to like, like, knock down that barrier. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And like really start making noise. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And it didn't happen that way. You know what I'm saying? I ended up fucking fucking up, and I had to go do time and all that shit. But when I, whenever I got home, um, and I'm on YouTube and I'm trying to catch up with everything that's going on, like, um, you know, money sign sway, um. Fucking um, peso peso, um, all them all, all them Mexican six nine little pump, you know, um, and then D baby, and um, I had seen like what all these these Mexicans were doing and shit, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like it was mind blowing, bro. It was like it was like damn, like these fucking dudes are fucking breaking the fucking barriers for this shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's what I wanted to do. You know, and unfortunately, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't work out that way. But it made me so happy to see that like Mexicans were finally like knocking that dough down. You know for what I'm sure, saying? For sure. And that's that's how I had, I had heard about D Baby was through like YouTube and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He just dropped. Shout out D Baby. He's he's really killing it. Like he's he's going he's going in right now. It's his time. Yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. For sure, he deserve it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like whenever that nigga first started and shit, like that nigga was putting money, money out of his own pocket, like to invest in features and this and that and that and this. You know what I'm saying? And now he got a team that's willing to back him and like really get him to the next level. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah. it's it's nothing but respect. Like on this side, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so is me, this, is the song already? I don't mean to cut you off, but is the song already uh, recorded? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's already done. It's called Outside. It's hard. It's hard. Um, It makes me happy that, like, I'm able to, like, set a vibe for a song and, like, like create, like, the majority of the song on my own and not rely on a feature to mm-hmm. make that shit hot. You know what I'm saying? The shit's hot already. You feel me? So, like, it makes me happy that I'm able to do that. And then, like, D-Baby just, like, add his shit. Or, like, my nigga Rocco add his shit. Or Seco mm-hmm. P or Trap a Lot. You know, I don't rely on the feature. You know what I'm saying? I just want to make a good song. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, growing up, who were some of uh, your influences in the rap game? Mm, I'd probably say... Um, Eminem's one of them, for sure. Like Eminem, like Eminem's hard, bro. Like mm-hmm. Marshall Mathers LP and all that shit. Um, I would say like fucking Tupac and and um, I listen to I, I listen to a lot of Spanish music too. You know what I'm saying? Okay, um, let's let's like who? Shit, like fucking like. 
where I'm from, like the Spanish type of music is like it's it's shit that y'all y'all okay. don't really know about, different. you know. Okay, okay. Like different, different. like fucking big lows and Nino and and um um people like that, Juan Gotti and yeah. shit like that. Or you know Wangari. what I'm saying? Um but 50, I listen, 50. yeah, cincuenta cincuenta, big lows. You know what I'm saying? That's that that's the type of music I grew up like. Mm-hmm. It's fucking weird. Hell yeah. I got you. Everything, really. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Now, if we, if we can take it back for a, for a, for a minute, I want to, I want to ask you about, um, like your, like where you come from, uh, and your upbringing and your household and, and what, what it was like. My upbringing was, uh, very difficult. Like when, whenever I, it, it was just me and my mom for a long time. And then after that, my mom ended up getting remarried and shit. Mm-hmm. And, um, the circumstances changed and all that shit. And um, I had more opportunities that were presented to me. Um, it's it's really weird, bro, because, like, at the same time, like, I was in and out of, like, group homes and shit like that. Um, I would say, like, my upbringing was just weird, bro. Like, I, I, I've lived both sides of the fence. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've I've lived both lives, like having nothing, absolutely nothing, to fucking having everything, and also like I don't know, like just mm-hmm. I just I, I'm grateful for everything. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying because it made you who you are. Yeah, today. it made me. It, it molded me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And do you know your real dad? Uh, my real dad, my biological father, when I was in, um, a placement in juvenile, it was a boot camp. Uh, I was supposed to get out and then go live with my, my biological father. That, 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 that would have been the first time I ever met him. In my life, I think I was like 16 years old at this point, and um, so up to that point, you never I had met never him. fucking seen him or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But when I went into juvenile, I started talking to him on the phone and shit. And then like, whenever I got out of placement, I was supposed to go live with him, but um, the judge didn't approve it. And then also, he ended up passing away from um, cirrhosis of the liver. You know what I'm saying? Like oh. from from like being a, an alcoholic, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it didn't work out, like it didn't work out. But that would have been the first time I had ever um, met my father. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna lie. Like standing there over his body, you know what I'm saying? Like at his funeral and shit. Like I didn't, I, I, I couldn't shed not one tear, you know, because I just like it's almost like I just couldn't. I, I was numb, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but um, and that was. So you're telling me the first time you've ever seen your dad was when, like, in, a, in his casket. In, a, in his casket. Yeah, for sure. And um, shit. Um, but it brought me closer to his side of the family. Oh, okay. So like my grandma, my grandpa, my little sister, like my my two little my two brothers, like my all like I just had a huge family in San Antonio. And, like, it just, it brought us together. Mm-hmm. His death, like, brought us together. Mm. You know, so and, I, I, and I'm thankful for that. That's what's up. Because I, I, I love them. You know, they're yeah. so raw and they're so real. Like, they're they're from the streets for real. Like, like and I just, I, I love it. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. You did four years, right? Yeah, I and did four years in prison. Um, But prior to that, like, when I would say when I was, like, <laughs> When I was like fourteen, that's when I started getting locked up. I kept going in and out of juvenile and placements and fucking group homes and all types of shit. And then when I turned eighteen years old, I caught um, three aggravated robberies with a deadly weapon. Um, and then I got put on probation. And then I fucked up the probation. And I ended up in prison for four years. And um. It sucked, 
<laughs> I bet. And, and and where where did you do your time? Mm, I did my time. I did a little bit of time in Houston. Um, like damn, what is it called? Um, it's called Pam Lynchner. It was like in like I can't even. I don't even remember the name. It's like a little like out of town. Okay. Like a little outskirt town, like of Houston. Okay. 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 It starts with an S. <laughs> or, I don't fucking know Some we weird ass shit Some weird ass shit But I did time there I did time in West Texas Like in fucking Abilene And I did time in fucking um, Amarillo In those four years Yeah in those four years Like you move around Like why, why from you- transfer unit Like your transfer unit That's where you go through Like all your fucking diagnostics and shit And then after that Like they put you where you're actually Finna be housed Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, but where I was, were you I, housed? I was housed in Amarillo. Okay, at a um, Jordan unit. It's an ID unit. Okay, okay, okay. What's what's like the craziest thing you've seen in jail? Um, I say like prison. It's not jail. Okay, you know you can't you can't confuse like <laughs> jail with prison. Like it's a total fucking different world you know what i'm saying can you like, describe the, the difference mm, prison is like you got a lot of motherfuckers that never coming home you know what i'm saying like they're never going home um the way that they conduct like conduct shit in there is just it's just different and like from county is like a bunch of people that are just coming and going like they'll be out they'll be in here today and they'll be gone tomorrow they'll make bond you know, prison is like somebody who got 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, life sentence. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just different. It's just different. There's okay. a lot of respect. There's a lot more respect in prison than there is, like, being in jail. Mm-hmm. What was, like, when you were in prison, like, what was the uh, dominant race in there? Was it Mexicans, more? for sure. Yeah. Mexicans, for sure. Um, it didn't matter where I went, like I was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, is it true that you have to stick with your people? Like, once you, nah, once you don't got to do shit. You ain't got to do shit. That's what I learned from like that experience. Is like, is like, like you can, you can, you can stand on your own too. You know what I'm saying? Ten toes down and like, and just be you, and you ain't got to run with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could just fucking just be a man, bro. Like, just be a man and hold your nuts and, like, ain't nobody finna fuck with you mm-hmm. type shit. You know what I'm saying? When I went to prison, like, I thought, like, like oh, like, oh, fuck, I got to be down with somebody. I got to get down with this fucking, with the tango and this and that yeah. and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I did. I went through all that. And I, I represent that. And I stand on that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going to switch on it. But, like... It ain't, it ain't, it ain't what. You talking about thunk? Tango Blast? Is that well, what? Well, what a lot of people don't understand is, like, tango is not just the tango blast. Like, that's, yeah, that's, like, the the the, the big tango that everybody knows about. Mm-hmm. But you got, like, tango Bayuco. You got, like, that, which is the valley. You got, like, tango Orejon, which is San Antonio. Tango Laredo. You got, you got tango. tango Laredo. You know what I'm saying? That's Laredo. You got Huesos which is West Texas tango, you know, like Corpitos, like Corpus uh, Corpus Christi. So, like, when we're in prison and shit, like, we all link up together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No matter. Blast, Bayuco, Orejon, like, we all link up together. And, like, if some shit go left, like, we're all going to ride together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's it's just politics, bro. Okay. It's just politics. It's just a whole bunch of just fucking extra shit. You know what I'm saying? Like shit that like out here in the world, like we ain't got time to be worrying about but, no shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what did you do inside to keep your mind occupied, to keep yourself busy? I read a lot. I read a lot. I read a lot of books. You know what I'm saying? My baby mama, like she made sure that I always had like new shit to read. Mm-hmm. Um, what what kind of books were you reading? Psychological books, um, shit about yeah, like sh- shit about psychology and like um, 
um, self help and like um, mm -hmm. uh, running a business and and, and um, trucking and fucking all different types yeah. of random ass shit. And the reason you went to prison was because you said uh, armed armed robbery, aggravated robbery, okay, deadly weapon, um, like pistol at their face type shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> three times. You pulled up on someone? Three times, yeah. Oh. Like three different people. Um, gun to their face, you know what I'm saying? Come up off of everything, like some stupid ass, dumb ass shit. Like what, what like what, what, what did you do it al by alone or did did you do it with I was with others? my cousin. I was with my cousin, my cousin um Darvis. Mm -hmm. Um I was with him. Um <laughs> Unfortunately, he ended up signing for his time, like, way before me. Like, he just took his little plea offer, got it out the way, went to prison, came home. And, like, me, I stayed fighting it. And I ended up fucking actually getting probation. I got on probation. And then, like, I kept coming out dirty for weed. And I kept, like, catching little dumbass charges and shit. So they violated me, and they gave me four years. Okay, okay, okay. Since... That time, uh, that that was the last time you you were you were uh, locked up. It's been about two years. Okay, I've been out of prison for about two years. That's what's up. Yeah. How old are you? I'm about to be twenty eight. Twenty eight. Okay, okay, okay. May seventeenth. Let's talk My about shit. trap a lot real quick. Uh -huh. How did how did you get connected with trap a lot? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the music. I got I got connected with trap a lot um, through my partner. He's a photographer and a videographer. Uh, his, we call him DTM. Um, he went and he 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 handled some business with Trap a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like like some aside from music type shit. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how he got me and Trap a lot in the dough. I was trying to uh, work with Trap a lot on some music shit at first, but it in, it ended up turning into like us like making money type shit. Okay. And like um. Me and Trap a lot, like, we just, like, we've been getting money together for, like, a minute. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I guess that just, like, built our relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that like that nigga would tell you, like, like that nigga buy you. That nigga buy you is the realest nigga I ever met. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a real nigga, bro. Like, I'm a solid nigga, bro. Like, yeah. and that just, like, we're like brothers, bro. Like, how me and this nigga right here, we're mm -hmm. brothers. Like me and that nigga trap a lot. We're brothers, nigga. We're family. I'm gonna mm -hmm. be there. Nah, it's no matter like, what. It's about to say another thing, but I was locked up right for some stupid shit and it pulled up. Bomb, 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 pay, bomb, give me some extra fit and everything. And he didn't got like trap a lot? Nah. Oh, oh your you, brother. Oh, okay, you. yeah, okay, he okay. Was, he didn't have to do none of that. Mm -hmm. He came from San Anto to the valley and he was there like I was I got locked up like at eight. He was there like at seven in the morning. Yeah. Bomb, like what the Oh, it's yeah, that pay, shit. pay, pay, everything, everything. Yeah. He, he didn't have to do it, mm -hmm. but he would. How long have you two known each other? I've known Rako since before Rako even. <laughs> like, so before I got locked up, Rako was what, like, you were young, way. Young, young. You're young. probably like 17. Mm -hmm. And I had heard his, I was probably like 19, 20, something like that. And I had heard his music because um, he's Cincuenta Cincuenta's cousin. Which is like a big fucking artist, like a, a independent artist out of Mexico. He he, he he's he, he's he, he's not with us no more. You know what I'm saying? Rest oh. in peace. But he was big. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And this is his little cousin. And um, I had heard his music through his cousin before I got locked up. And like I just been, I just knew. Like I just knew from the first time I heard him, I was like, this nigga's finna do something. You know what I'm saying? And when I was locked up, I was like, I had a list. I was like, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. And one of the things on my list was like, I'm going to link up with Rocco. I'm going to link up with Rocco. Why? Because, like, I knew he was going to. I didn't know what was going on with Rocco while I was locked up. But I knew that, like, this nigga was going to take off. I went so, two years to ensure right? So I didn't even know about none of that. So. Mm -hmm. So when I got out, I, I I chopped it up with him and like we picked it back up, and um and um yeah like we've been working and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like genuine, like organic shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. And what was the the latest tattoo you got? 
The last <laughs> tattoo you got. I see you got your whole sleeve on the left side. Man, bro, everything that I got is from prison, bro. For real? Like, it's all trash, nigga. <laughs> it's all garbage, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you ain't got to sugarcoat nothing, nigga. <laughs> my shit's all trash, nigga, but, nigga, it's a part of my journey. It's mm -hmm. a part of... It's a part of uh, where I've been and where I'm going. You know Which one means the most to you? Um, shit, probably my daughter. Hell yeah. My daughter right here. Okay, um, okay. I mean, it don't really look like her too much because, <laughs> <laughs> because I kept moving and shit. Niggas was telling me, like, hey, you can't be moving. I'm tattooing somebody's face right now. You know what I'm saying? But I it kept moving, like right? so it looks a little weird. But my daughter... My daughter and my son, like, like those are my special tattoos right there because, um, I mean, uh, those are my babies, you know what I'm how saying? Old, how old are they? Uh, my daughter is five and my son is four. Okay. Camila you, and Dariel. Oh, okay. Okay. What's it like being a father? Shit, it's good, bro. It's good, bro. Like, I'm not with a mom no more, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So be a little bit difficult and shit but i'll be just trying to do the right thing you know what i'm saying and, and um, keep it civil and um, um put my pride to the side you know what i'm saying so that way my kids um don't have to experience like like no fucked up upbringing you know what i'm saying yeah okay okay so respect respect do you have any kids i'm about to yeah, yeah. you got one on the way Okay, boy or girl? Boy. Okay, congratulations. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah. You already got a name for him and everything? He's going to be named Luis Walke. Okay, yourself, a junior? He's gonna, she's going to be a junior. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, okay. Um, now, when you're making music, I'll start with you first. When you're making music, um, like, what's your creative process like? It all depends. Like, if it's a dedication, well, I go, like, Based on the information of the client, right? mm -hmm. and if not, if it's my song, like it's gonna be my my life. You know Your life, yeah. Okay. Creative process. What, what does that mean? I'm like bad. I ain't that good with English. You good? No, you're good. Creative process. Like, um, like, do you first of all do you write or do you do you freestyle? Like, do you or do you write? Oh, I listen to the beat first, right? Primero okay. escucho el beat and then like I freestyle a little bit, come up with a melody. And then start writing. Okay, okay, okay. How long does it take you, on average, to complete a song? Two, three hours. Like, all right, I record myself, too, so I, I'm, okay. I'm going with it back back and forth, back and forth. Two, how, three hours, that's the most. How long have you been doing music? Yeah, like, since I was, like, 11 years old. Type of thing. 11 years old? Yeah. 11 years old. And what, what got you into music? What made you want to start doing music? My older cousin. Your older cousin? Yeah. Oh, the one that was big in Mexico? Yeah. Okay. What was his name again? 50-50. Okay, okay, okay. Like, everybody, like, go to YouTube and look him up. Mm-hmm. It was another thing, bro. Yeah. He was already making millions of views, independent. Oh, shit. Like, he was big. From yeah. The models and shit, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Let's get it. Oh, we on the live. Jedidah Podcast. Yes, sir, ski. Yeah, you finna spit a freestyle. Let's go. Let's go. Put a beat on. You ready? You want a beat? Y'all want a beat? Come on. Come on. Do a beat. Yeah. Turn it up. Turn it up. Ah, uh, I thought I thought. Good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Ay, ay, que conmigo no estén jugando Desde chavalo soy malandro Pregunten por mí en el barrio no cambio de bando Un saludo a todo el que me está escuchando Saben que el ramireño, el huesa y siempre estoy representando Yo soy del valle de la calle conocido por mañoso En el círculo vicioso estamos moviendo los cosos peligrosos Siempre salgo ventajoso, que en paz descanse soso Yo los parto como el soso 
Ey, a esto yo no le encuentro fin Al chile yo soy el King Rocks en el Thunder McQueen Siempre sigo siendo el mismo manito, yo no quiero cambiar Dicen que la fama un día a mí yeah. me va a llegar El diamante brillando, homito estoy brillando 24 en la muñeca, tú sabes estoy hablando Que... Que muchos me están tirando Aquí no pasa nada porque tenemos el mando Tenemos el mando o en la callosa zona peligrosa Aquí te destrozan, ponte verga que te mandan para el río Seguramente te vas para la fosa Las rimas que saco es la más mamosa Al chile homito la más famosa Y si se ponen pendejos al chile homito huele el los destroza hey. y, <risa> Nice, y, 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 fucking y, nice Está como, está como muy lobo Yeah, yeah Ha, huh. ha huh. Yeah. You like that? Suele un poquito el piso, suele un poquito, le puedo subir quicker? Lo ve, lo ve, lo ve. Uh, un na na na. Un na na na. Yeah. Uh, ah, ey, ey. Y todas quieren con el capi. Todas quieren mi dinero. Ey, yo te prometo el mundo entero. Son de revista, ellas quieren que yo les lubrique, mm. pero ya vienen bien lubricas. Homito, ninguno hace nada. Ellos saben que mi palabra que en el valle matí, estamos parados, también bien parados. <risa> Sigo haciendo mi movida. Uh. Este gale lo bajo por vida. Que se quiten, no los voy a quitar. Grr. Diles, vayo, que si se ponen pendejo, voy a disparar. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't really be freestyling and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> hey, my brother gets too, though. <laughs> nah, that was my cool. My brother lied, bro. My brother lied, bro. Yeah. Can't nobody fuck with him, bro. Yeah. I promise you, nigga. Like, freestyling. That nigga off the head. You know off what I'm saying? Off the dome. I can't do none of that shit. <laughs> none of that shit. I ain't finna even embarrass myself like that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I got a lot of shit, but like, nah, fuck that shit. I ain't. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. All right, man. Um, let me see. Let me see. Do you? What do you? What do you like to do when you're not doing anything music related? Mm, I like to make money, bro. Mm -hmm. I like to make money. I like to shop. I like to spoil my bitch. I like to um, fuck my bitch down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nah, for real. Yeah. Like, I like fucking my bitch. Clubs? You and go to clubs? Nah. No. Nah. We don't. We don't. We don't go to clubs. We don't go to bars. We don't go to none of that shit. Like, unless we getting paid. You know what I'm saying? To go do a show or 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 something like that. Like, we not we not coming out. Mm -hmm. We not coming out. Like you feel like it's just a waste of time, waste of money? It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Like, if if, if I'm in the streets, it's because I'm finna get a bag straight up. How six, do y'all feel about 6 9 Respect. Y'all fuck with 6 9 That nigga 6 9 is lit. Mm -hmm. Like that nigga's, that nigga's lit, bro. We don't give a fuck about the streets. We don't give a fuck about none of that I extra shit. Like, that nigga's lit. Because mm -hmm. really, if you really know, you gotta respect that nigga. For it. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. He know he's a, he, he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Even For sure. even after the snitching, like I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. Like music is music. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The streets is the streets. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But as far as the streets, we don't respect them. We don't we, we ain't going for none of that shit. Like if you gonna get into something, you gonna you gonna take care of what you gotta take care of, and you gonna take your lick like a man. 
You know what I'm saying? But like when it comes to music and shit but and no, like, like making some money, like he's go got ahead. a point. He's got a point though. Like six nine got a point. Like if I'm loyal to you, like I'm loyal to you, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you go fuck my baby mama, right? And then you go fucking go put me on a fucking me roba, se la verga, me secuestro, se la shit. Yeah, they kidnapped him. Yeah, no, no, yeah, for sure. He, yeah, hey, the, hey. This is a whole nother, whole nother different. Point of view, right? But mm-hmm. point of view, but the nigga's right. I agree with it. Yeah. But uh, if it was a different situation, to, right? Because he already had signed for like 45, no? Something like that. He, he had already fucking signed. Like he was. But then he found out some shit like, like, like cogieron la ruca and all that. They fucked this girl. They fucked this baby mama. They fucking try to, they, they robbed them of everything. Like, all that shit. Like, bro, like, man, fuck them niggas, bro. Mm-hmm. I ain't finna, I ain't finna fucking, like, be solid for some fucking pussy ass niggas that ain't even fucking finna ha- be solid with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. Nigga, and I've been through it, nigga. He's been through it. You know what I'm saying? We live that life. You know what I'm saying? So like, man, I don't have none. We won't have none against six nine. Mm-hmm. That yeah. nigga's hard. That nigga, hey, he's selling and out he shows. Blesses, and he, he he blesses like the poor. And I like you. You see, like when whenever he's playing or he wants to get like I don't know like <laughs> something back from him type of. That nigga does him like he he really like blessing people's game. Yeah, yeah. I've seen videos of him like he, in he fucking breaks fifty Puerto Rico. Bucks. Yeah. Nothing. Kids like you know feeding feeding the homeless and yeah. shit. Like the, that new song he dropped, the Cuba song, the mm-hmm. uh, with um, I can't remember his name is Sierra something like that. Mm-hmm. Right after he got he got he got jumped in the gym in the gym. Yeah, yeah, they fucked him up. Oh yeah, they did fucking him. Gets my fucking. I'm gonna oh, be yeah. honest with you. Like I feel like that was kind of like some like. Marketing. They said, yeah, like Hell some nah. marketing Hell shit. Nah. You know why? They, they because look, 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 bro, <laughs> bro, bro, come Hell on, bro. Right, bro. Look, look, look. Nah. We, 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 look, 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 hold on. We've been locked up. So if a nigga's jumping a nigga, are they really gonna like just leave him like that? Like how he he came out? Or how like, bro, they're gonna it. fucking make this like pumpkin head. Like he they're was. gonna make him. Fucks. They're gonna he really just, fuck him so up. His eyes was fucking. Broken. I feel like. Did you see the way they kicked him in the video? Bro, they, like they, they jumped barely, on him. Oh, they they like a trampoline. Them, I know, I know, but but look, but but they, and he drops pants. a song right away. Oh, hey, he's a, he he's always been a fucking a fucking marketing fucking expert, nigga. He's a fucking that's what I'm something saying, else. Right? That's what I'm saying. It's all like. So you think it's fake? I think it's nah. Just like, I, uh, would I you get a fucking beat like, like a bidding for like to get some views? Hell no. Nah. In his defense, <laughs> though, <you're asking> me, <laughs> bro, bro. Yeah. In his defense, though, like before this. Like before he got jumped, I was I haven't really wasn't really hearing about him no more. He, he has he wasn't posting nothing on Instagram or nothing. Mm-hmm. He was out because he wanted to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm I mean, shit. I know I know he was saying that like the last album he dropped, they blackballed him. Like they weren't like uh like yeah they weren't they weren't pushing it like they were not po- putting it on playlists and yeah. stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. I, I think it was real. I think they 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 ah he got his fucking look, 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 bro. Him, bro. I seen the nigga. Like, he just got out. He just got out. The nigga that beat him up, like, he just got out. Like, he looked like a stiff nigga. You know what I'm saying? I think he would have done way more, way worse. Well, you got to remember. Because I've seen way worse. But remember. Wow. Yeah. I've seen. They were in LA like, Fitness. They were in a, a public place, bro. Man, look. Bro. Not LA Fitness. If we got, smoke, fitness, if we got smoke with a nigga and we catch him, nigga, it, it's... it's Nigga, we gonna damn near kill this nigga. Yeah, they, yeah, pero you know yeah, what I'm saying. They, 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 he wasn't that killed. They just did that killed. shit for fucking social media and to get known and to get fame out of this vato. Like they ain't I got no know. nothing real. Like he, six nine hasn't. ¿Qué le va a hacer esos vatos? They ain't got money. They ain't got nothing to like. ¿Entiendes? Yeah. ¿Qué le van a por six nine? They had nothing against him, boy. Like I'm just saying though, like like. And that. for it to be for it to be fake, that ah, means he got his fucking wrist fucked up. His eyes. I'm just saying, like like the people that beat him up would have to be in on it. You know what I mean? And they they got caught and they're in I know a lot of them when you said some one of them was already already posted bond and shit cuz I thought they I saw the mug shots. <laughs> Six nine said he was already 45 years old. He had nothing going on in his life. He's stupid. He said that. Yeah, 69 and that's true with like, that's 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 no life. That he had no life. That nigga 69 live right. Yeah, I mean, he's lit, bro. And whenever he speaks, he's lit, bro. It's facts like he's lit. Yeah. 
Yo soy leal, pero yo no soy un bobo. We got none. We got none to do. We got none. We got no other choice but to respect it. Like he's lit. Y'all fuck with SPM? No. Fuck. I mean, look, I'm just speaking for myself. Okay. And if my 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 brother got a different opinion, that's Speak cool. I'm closer. with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I don't fuck with SPM. That nigga's a fucking chomo. Okay. I don't I don't know. His you know story. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Look, I don't give a fuck what the excuses are. I don't give a f- nigga. At the end of the day, nigga, nigga, she was 12 years old, bro. She was 12 years old. Like, the whole strip club scenario and this and that and that and this. And, like, it, it's, like, bro, 12 years old, fine. I don't. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck, nigga. If a, if a female is 12 years old, nigga, I'm going to be able to tell. I don't listen to uh, English music, right? Okay. That much. And when I was young, I would, wouldn't listen. But, fuck it. What do you see in my hood? As a gangsters mm-hmm. everywhere. Okay. As a gangsters so, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, and, and, and the, the old schools were jamming to it, so you were a la verga, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know the legal situation he's, <laughs> he had. I don't know. I can't, like, I can't say nothing. About we it. see, like, okay, so it was, uh, he fucked a bitch that was 12, right? And then his baby mama was, like, underage, Whenever, whenever, like, he okay. actually, like, had, like, okay. fucked her. Yeah. Right. Right. There's a couple of girls. So, yeah. th- there's a few. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't respect that shit at all. Mm-hmm. I feel like I don't, you, and you got a lot of, like, you got a lot of up-and-coming artists that, like, nigga, they're co-signing him full, like, they're fucking like rapping to remixes to his shit and all that shit. Look, bro, SPM is a fucking chomo, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, period. Black and white. You know what I'm saying? SPM had fucking enough money to have the best fucking legal team in Houston, Texas, bro. Mm-hmm. He had just signed like a what, like a two million dollar deal with Sony. Yeah. Some shit like that. Yeah. Some shit like, like that. The first Mexican. The nigga had money, bro. The first Mexican, The nigga bro. had money, bro, to where he could have fought for j- justice, bro. But the fucking, like, the, the, the he facts. Signed, he signed a free bargain or something like that? The fact, nah, like, like he, the judge gave that nigga, like, fucking, what, like, almost 30 years in prison, bro, because of the facts, bro. Like, yeah. there's no going around that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. I got a daughter. I got a little girl, nigga, and, like, yeah, nigga, so you, I don't, I don't fuck with that. So you shit. don't respect when people like when you hear young artists like salute, salute to him and and and. I'm gonna be, on, shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't take it personal because they don't know no better. They don't know no better. Mm-hmm. Like when you've been through what I've been through, like you see it for what it really is. And a lot of rappers and shit, they haven't been through what I've been through, what he's been through. Like we've been through the system. We know. We know what's up, you know what I'm saying, and like it, that shit just don't go, bro. That shit just don't go. Mm-hmm. That shit's lame, bro. Like, 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 ain't no way around that shit, nigga. You're a fucking chomo, nigga. Appreciate you guys again for coming on. Uh, before we get out of here, any 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 last words for the for the fans? Uh, Raza, sé que no entendieron ni 80% de la entrevista, pero si vieron, porque estamos aquí. Gracias por el apoyo. Aquí estamos a la orden. Seguimos. En el mando, aquí estoy con mi canal Bayou. Aquí estamos echándole ganas. Gracias por el apoyo a todos, para la gente del camaradita aquí. Gracias por invitarnos, carnal. Yes, Thank sir. you for the invite. Um, aquí estamos. Raco 956. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm just going to say, like, I uh, appreciate everybody's time and shit. And fucking, we just doing what we do. And uh, it's all organic. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't trying to, we ain't trying. We're not trying, you know what I'm saying? We're just doing, we're just being ourselves. For sure. Where can they find you guys on, on uh, Instagram? Instagram is going to be Rakunan56 official. Let me, uh, let me check. Let me okay, okay. It's going to be Rakunan56 El Capitan. Rakunan56 El Capitan on Instagram and YouTube Rakunan56 official, Facebook Rakunan56. Okay. Uh, Instagram is going to be 22 underscore by you, YouTube, 22, by you, together. Uh, yeah, just look me up and shit and fucking, we working. Straight up. We Already. active. For sure, man. H-time. You know what <laughs> going on. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hey, H-time has treated me good, for real. Yeah. Nah, 
Uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm loving this time. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. And I uh, just want to thank everybody else for tuning in to another great episode of the Jedidah Podcast. Y'all be sure to hit that subscribe for more and stay tuned for the next. Peace. Grr. Look, I get rid of everything I had, dog. Home my dad, dog. I'ma snatch a bag, dog. Wrapped up a tune with a squad and a flag, dog. Hanging with the trap, I still chopping down the tan wall. I'm known in the city for my hard work. Look at me, I can show you how I crown work. Plug my wrist till my watch finally drown first. For whatever stop, you'll be in the ground first. Huh. If you don't want it, then get back in line. I don't know how you.